We'll guide you through how to host a Minecraft server on your PC. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This means you can go and play with your friends all together in one world. To get started, let's come out of Minecraft. We're now on the desktop. So to go and do this, we need to go and get the server launcher. So what you can do is go and open up a web browser of your choice. Then you want to go and type in Minecraft server download like so, and you can come to the official Minecraft site to go and download it. Here we are. Go and press on the server name here and it will then go and start downloading just like so. It's that straightforward. You can then come out of the web browser for now and you want to go and open up a file explorer and come to your downloads. There you should go and have server.jar. Drag that onto your desktop. On your desktop, you want to right click, hover over new and press folder. Go and name this what you want. I named it server guide and drag and drop server.jar in there. As we're hosting the server on our computer, this means for the server to be online, our computer will need to be online running the server and we'll also be sharing our network, which isn't always ideal. So a great alternative to this is the sponsor of today's video, Apex Hosting. So there'll be a link down below in the pinned comment and the description. At the moment, you can get a discount as well. They've got so many great benefits. If we scroll down, one click install mod packs. My favorite one being 24 seven servers and support, meaning you can get the help anytime you need it for your always online server, instant setup and much more. So if you're interested, check them out down below. But continue with the guide, open up your folder where you put server.jar and what you need to do is go and double click on it like so. When you do this, we should start seeing some folders and files be made. Now it's important to know if nothing happens here or something else happens, then what you need to do is we need to go and make sure we've got Java. So come back to your web browser and go to java.com. What you can do is press download Java for desktops and then press download Java again and it will download. Go and install it and return to server.jar, right click on it, hover over open with and you want to press choose another app just here. Select Java and press always, and it should then go and run. If that still doesn't work, you may need to do something called a jar fix, which links jar and jar files together again. Another fix you can try doing if you're running into problems is getting JDK, which stands for Java Development Kit. What you want to do is head back to the Java sites and you can go and find Java for developers or something like that. And you can then go and download and install JDK. And hopefully it'll then go and work. Then what you want to do is go and locate eula.txt, open it up. What you need to do is go and read the terms here. So copy and paste these into a web browser. I already have. And then what you can do is go and make the ULA to true. You can go to the top left, press file, and you can press save. And then what you can do is go and close this and you want to go and double click server.jar and it's gonna go and run again. You then go and get this pop-up. This is your server panel, as you can see. So we can now go and actually join the server, but quickly, if we close it, what you can do is come to server.properties right click on it and you want to go and hover over open with and select notepad. Here you can go and adjust different things. For example, uh, the game mode amongst other things as well. So you can adjust that there. If you make a change, make sure you press file and press save. And then to launch a server, you press server.jar and it's gonna go and run. Wait for it to load and we can go and join it. So come into Minecraft and we can then come into multiplayer, press proceed, that's fine with me. We can press add server and type in localhost in server address. Press done and there it is. We can click on it and press join server and we can go and join. Now we can go and use localhost as we're hosting it. But if you want other people to go and join, either you need to go and port forward your server. This means people can then go and connect to it with your IP address. We have got a guide on that, but we can also go another way, which is using an application, which I'll cover shortly. But also this is why Apex hosting can be a great alternative as you can easily go and just have it all set up for you. But let's go and make this server available so other people can connect. As I said, you can port forward or there's an application you can use. The application we can use is called playit.gg. So I'll go and type that in and you can come to the site. Then what you can do is you can go and press download like so. You come to Windows and we can press Windows installer and it's now downloaded. What we can do is come to our file explorer and downloads, find it here and double click it. And we can go through this setup wizard, just like any other application. We've now successfully installed it and we can press finish. Then what you need to do is come to the bottom of your computer and you can go and search for playit.gg and launch it. Here you'll be given a link, hold control and click on it. It will then open up in a web browser. What you can do is sign in, or if you don't have an account, press create one. The steps are now gonna start running through. All you need to do is go and wait for it to go and connect. And then what we can do is press create tunnel. For the region, I'll go and use a free one, but you can use a premium one. And then for the tunnel type, we can go and select Minecraft Java like so. And then you can make sure it's enabled and press add tunnel. 
You're then gonna go and be given a public address here. So what you can do is go and copy this by holding and highlighting it and then right clicking and press copy. And you can then give that to people and people can then enter that in in Minecraft and go and join it. I just went out of the server with the address that we got with player.gg. And then what we can do is go and join it. And you can go and see, we've now successfully joined it. And you can go and give that address to other people. They can enter that in and add it as a server. And then they can go and join the server and start playing with you. So that's it. As I said earlier, this server is hosted on your computer, which means when you go and turn off your computer or just even go and shut down the server, other people won't be able to go and join it, which is why the sponsor of today's video, Apex Hosting, can be a great alternative. But you can still go and start playing with your friends with a method in this video. If you need help with more Minecraft topics, make sure you check out the channel. We've got a load already on there and plenty more to come as well. Feel free to leave any suggestions down below. We'll go through them and see if there's anything we can go and make a video on. I look forward to help you again in the future as well. Have a great day and make sure you consider subscribing as well and liking the video. I look forward to seeing you again in the future where we can help you out and solve your Minecraft problem. Goodbye.